What's up guys, it's Thwain back again for another video, back in for a reaction and today is a great, wonderful, amazing, incredible day because it's a Finland day. <laughs> La Paranta, I think that's how you say it. Let me know in the comment section if I was correct. A visit to the Russian border in Finland. Without further ado, let's get into this reaction. Let's go. Welcome to Helsinki, Finland. This is the first of four Hello. countries we're going to visit on our tour of Scandinavia. From here... Did you just hear what I heard? This is going to be the first in... What? Scandinavia? Uh -uh. It's not Scandinavia, mate. <laughs> I've learned that it's not Scandinavia. It's a Nordic country, but it's not Scandinavia. But it's okay. It's okay. We'll let him off. From here, we're going to go to Sweden, and then to Norway, and then finally to Denmark. But, yeah, that's Scandinavia. Uh, a little bit exhausted. I haven't only slept four hours the last two nights since I came here from America. It was a tough plane ride over, and my body struggling to adjust to the seven-hour time difference from the eastern United States. But uh, That accent is wild. I come from America. That's like, that's like the accent, I feel like, that gets parodied the most in Europe. Like when we like when I think of an American, I always think of a Southern American. Like I'm from the country. I'm from America. Uh, that's the accent how <laughs> I do. Um, I love it though. It's a, it's such a unique accent. As many of you probably know, there's a little bit of tension going on right now between Russia and Finland. Uh, Finland's on the brink of joining NATO, and Russia's not real happy about it. So. I thought, what better way to start our journey than to head straight for the Russian border? We're gonna head to the. <laughs> As he, does he have? Does he have a death wish? Like, why would you go to the Russian border as an, as an American? I'm sure it's not that bad, but why? I don't know. Okay. Finnish town of Lappinrata, and uh, see what we can find. But uh, did I say it correctly? Train ride. Or did he say it correctly? Uh, Let me up know. Up to Lappinrata, train station right there. So we're gonna hop on the train and uh, go check out the Russian border. See you guys there. Ooh, that is a nice train. Are all your trains like that? Or is this just this train that looks like that? Cause this is a nice, it just looks like comfortable. Look at those headrests and your little tape. This looks very clean and very nice. A lot better than UK train. Trains in the UK, especially when you're outside of capital, they're not nice. Oh, it looks so nice. I just want to go out and just roll on the Robin field. Rob in Racha, Finland. Beautiful day out. Perfect weather. Perfect weather. Keeps changing the so way, much better it? than the hot humidity I left back in Kentucky, but. Uh, had a nice train ride here. The trains are really nice in Finland. Get free Wi-Fi, comfortable seats. Free Wi-Fi. Highly recommend using the train system if you come to Finland. But uh, we're about 18 miles from the Russian border right now. I'm going to try to get a little closer, figure out how to get over there. But uh, first, I'm a little bit hungry, so I'm going to try to find a little local restaurant to have some breakfast. But uh, we'll see what we can find here in Lappinrotra. It keeps well, changing after the way, a long it. search for a breakfast spot, I have found a local Finnish delicacy. He's trying to be funny. Uh, a, a local delicacy. He's going to McDonald's. He's in Finland. He's going. Well, to be fair, you know, if you can't find somewhere to eat and there's a McDonald's, you might as well. I wonder what McDonald's is like in Finland. Uh, let's see. Let's go see what McDonald's is like in Finland. Um, what? Guys, did the sound just, sound just cut out for you too? I think his video doesn't have any sound in Let's that part. McDonald's is like in Finland. I don't think he realizes. <laughs> I don't think he realizes his, his video. At least we can see the bacon uh, and egg sandwich he's eating. He's saying it's good. With a thumbs up. <laughs> we can't hear you, mate. We can't hear you. Just finished having a <laughs> delish, delicious breakfast here at McDonald's in Finland. Yeah. Now I'm going to call a, a taxi and head down to the Russian border. See you there. 
That's a big taxi for one person. Hello? Yes. Is that just for one person? <laughs> nice. I am here at the Russian border. I've always wanted to go to Russia, but unfortunately with the current climate, it's probably not the best time for an American to cross over the border. So I got as close not. as I could get to it here in Finland, but uh, it's pretty crazy being here right at the border, uh, just across the lake there. Right over there, that's Russia. That's Russia. Wow. So I'll give you guys a good look at Mother Russia. I mean, I would love to go to Russia. If if the, if if things weren't the way they are between the West and Russia, I would love to go to Russia. I think it's quite sad, guys. I don't know if you hear how you feel about the situation. I just feel like it's really sad that like a European nation, because um, Russia's in Europe, well, at least half of it's in, in Europe and half's in Asia, that they, they're they going through what they're going through. And I'm going to talk about the people, um, because the people are the people, but then you've got the governments who are controlling things. And um, they're in a war. And they didn't ask to be in a war, but they are. And it's just like, I wish there was peace. And I would love, to, you know, it should be accessible. It should be a place where people can go. I should be able to travel to Moscow and, you know, experience Russia, but I can't. And um, I have no, I don't want to. <laughs> right now, I definitely don't want to. So, so I just think it's sad. Russia, right over there, right across the lake. That water looks so clean. Now I'm going to head back into town and see what we can find. See you guys there. Back here in Lopinratra. Hope I'm saying that correctly. Some of the Finnish words are a little difficult to produce. It's definitely not saying that right. Especially for a southerner like me. But uh, you can see it's got a beautiful lake here behind me. Finland's just uh, absolutely beautiful country. It's so clean. People are so friendly. Really enjoying my trip so far. But uh, next, I'm going to show you the most famous tourist attraction in this town, the Sandcastle. Sandcastle? Wow. Some really uh, impressive work here in the sand. Probably the most uh, impressive I've ever seen. Look at this. Look at the detail on this stuff. Wow. Somebody put a lot of work into this. I can see why it's such a such an attraction here in Finland. Is it actually made out of sand? Because if it's made out of sand, what happens when it rains? <laughs> I'm guessing it's not made out of sand. Yeah, it can't be. Now look, there's an owl. You all probably remember me talking about my cousin Dustin, the Catholic. He loves owls. So, okay. Dustin, that one's for you. My mum, my mum loves owls as well. I don't know what it is. So I can go inside. We'll go inside in just a second, see what's in there. Looks like we got a uh, theme, little theme park here for the kids. The lake over there. Look at this. Wow. wow, the detail on those teeth, that's pretty cool. Look at that big fish. Pretty good. The detail in these, these sand carvings is incredible. I've never seen anything like this. I don't know how they keep it... Uh, Keep it in such good shape with all the rain and everything. But yeah, I was thinking that too. Wow. It can't be real sand, surely. I'm going to walk around here and go on the inside and see what it looks like. House. Go inside now and see what's on the inside. Yeah. 
Mm, look at that uh, little turtle. Flying squirrel on top of raspberry. <laughs> a flying squirrel on top of a raspberry. That is, uh, you've got a vivid imagination, Finland. Vivid. Interesting concept. Whoever came up with that one was creative. A squirrel on top of a raspberry. I know, right? We got here the lizard. That. <laughs> we got here. Oh, look, another creative idea. A hedgehog a and hedgehog an acorn. And an acorn. Cute. They look like they're being done by kids, these ones. The ones inside look like they're being done by children. These fins are some creative people. A hedgehog and an acorn and a squirrel and a raspberry. Here, here's a bear cub. Wow. Seal. Big seal. <laughs> That's a cute seal. Perch. And finally we've got a uh, fox. Fox, yeah, I thought so. Nice. I have to say, I think my favorite of all, not necessarily just the looks of it, but just the creativeness and the weirdness of the idea, I think, is this one. The, the flying squirrel on top of a raspberry. Raspberry. Only in Finland would you see that. I'm going to keep walking around and see what else I can find. I was just told that there's a... Uh, an old fortress here. It has an old church in it. You know I love visiting the churches, but uh, I'm going to walk up the hill here and uh, see what the fort has in it. Is La Parente, I answered that wrong, incorrectly, La Parente, is it somewhere that is a tourist destination? Do people go, or is it just like one of those towns that's just on the border and it's just kind of like no one really visits? Let me know in the comment section. Of course, the fortress is on top of a gigantic hill like every other forward I've ever visited. I'm running on, running on fumes four hours of sleep the last two days. But I'm going to do it because I love you guys and I want to show it to you. Now inside the fortress, it's pretty cool. Apparently there was a battle here in 1741. I'm assuming with uh -huh. the Russians. I'll have to do a little bit more research on that. But uh, And also, <clears throat> I was reading that people have actually lived here in Lampenracha. I know that's not how you say it, but people have been living here for over 2,000 years. So it's pretty, pretty incredible. So we've got some cannons over here. Oh. Wow. Well, it looks kind of like where they filmed uh, Tum Tumaton uh, Solitas. Um, it looks like where they filmed parts of that. Did they film parts of that in La Parenta? Let me know if they have. Because it looks like... It feels like I've seen this before. I don't know why. Let me know. Here we are at the old Orthodox Church. It's pretty neat looking. Walk inside and see what it looks like. Very pretty, very, very pretty church. Wow. It's really nice. Stunning. Is that music playing inside the church? Wow. I think that's about it for the fortress. Pretty interesting. Oh, pretty fortress, cool sorry. It's a church. Looks like it's pretty old. I'll have to look up to see how, when exactly it was built. Let's see again. 
Very pretty. Here's a monument to the Battle of 1741. It's in Finnish. Can't understand it. All the parks and everything here in Finland are so beautiful, so well kept. Very well kept. Tell That's one well thing that I've noticed it. of, fit, like you said, pride in your country, that like you keep things looking clean and pristine. Tree. I've noticed that. I'm walking through uh, downtown Lappenrata now. I just randomly chose this town on a map because it was close to the border, but knew nothing about it, but it's amazing the beautiful places you can just find randomly. Mm. Ah, very cute. It's very nice. It reminds me a lot of the UK. In parts. He's breathing so heavy. Like, he's only walking, man. It sounds like he's running. That's not good. It's starting to rain now, so I gotta get back to the station ASAP. Oh. Well, that was interesting. I didn't know what I was walking into at first. It was an old church, and they were having a uh, musical program inside the church but it was really beautiful inside you could tell it was really old but looks like there's another old church on top of the hill oh yeah wow i don't know if you can go inside or not but i'm gonna walk up here and find out it's a big church whoa what a tall church that's a nice looking church very tall this is actually an old clock tower belongs to the church but I'm gonna walk up see what it's like inside it's a clock tower oh, it's like a star sure what was going on there or what I walked up the stairs to but <laughs> I was thinking what was going on in there it was, it was it was it somewhere you can have a fika as they say in Sweden like you can have a coffee and stuff or is it was it just yeah that was weird apparently it was built in the 1700s but I'm gonna keep walking and see what else I find walked upon a little statue of a weeping boy Some sort of memorial. I'm sure there's a story behind that, but I have no clue what it would be. Without looking it up, but I'll let you guys do that. Well, I just stumbled up on this place. This is absolutely one of the creepiest places I have ever seen in my life. It's a cemetery in the woods. The way the trees look. And... What's creepy about that? It's just a cemetery. Maybe in America they don't have cemeteries like this? This is normal in Europe. Graves. Oh, I think he said it's creepy because the graves are very, very old. Because obviously Europe is old, a lot older than America. So they probably don't have old graves. I would not want to walk through here at night time. No way. It's fine. Actually, grave, grave, um, graveyards are very peaceful. If there's any such thing as a haunted woods, this is it. Right here in Finland. I'm gonna walk around and get a little deeper into it. 
all the graves in here from like the 17 and 1800s. Be wild. Never seen a cemetery look like this. All cemeteries end up looking like that. Well, I think I've spent enough time in here creeping me out, but head on back to the station. Reminds me of a Soviet, a Soviet style train station cafe. Well guys, I'm back here at the train station in La Penrata. Hope you guys enjoyed the day. I'm sure I enjoyed showing it to you guys. I'm absolutely exhausted. I've got to get back to Helsinki and get some sleep. But if you enjoy my videos, please give it a thumbs up down below with the like button. Subscribe to my channel. And uh, I love the weather. The weather looks very European. <laughs> Reminds me of England. Yeah, that was fun. Uh, La Paranta, like I said, is it somewhere that you would go and visit as a tourist? Or is it just one of those places that just kind of, it's just a, a standard town? Is it worth going? Let me know in the comment section below. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Until the next one, I will see you very soon.